Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait is the latest royal biography by Giles Brandreth and sheds a light on many previously unknown parts of the life of Queen Elizabeth II and her family. He recently joined Alan Titchmarsh on his ITV show Love Your Weekend and admitted he felt awkwardness upon his first meeting with the Queen. Alan began, the latest book is The Ultimate, Elizabeth, an intimate portrait, and it is an intimate portrait and it is by someone who knew the late Queen. And who also knows the King. I love the fact that here in this book, you're wearing this jumper. Is this the king asking you for the name of your knitter? Giles laughed at the image in the book and explained, he certainly was laughing, he is very keen on wool. But I can remember the first day that I met the queen. We remember every detail of that, of course, the queen meets hundreds and thousands of people but we always remember an encounter with the queen. I met her on May 2, 1968, and she was 42 and I was 20 and at university, and of course I wrote it down in my diary. Of course, the few things I remember on that occasion is how the atmosphere changed the moment the Queen appeared. Something in the room changed, there was a kind of awkwardness but excitement too and I realized there was an invisible mode at all times around the Queen. She was always normal, always herself, but nobody else was quite normal with her. And the other thing that I noticed that day was she was visiting the debating society at university. The debating society president walked her across the courtyard in the rain but he didn't hold her umbrella. I reprimanded him for it and said you should have held the queen umbrella, and he said oh no, the queen insisted on carrying her own umbrella because if somebody else carries it then rain trickles down her neck and she doesn't like that. In the recent book, Giles dropped a number of bombshells revealing previously unknown stories of the queen's life and her final days, including her secret cancer battle. The royal biographer and trusted friend of Prince of Philip claimed the Queen had been battling cancer. According to her death certificate, she died of old age. James Martin hugs Brian Turner as he makes stammer confession in the book, he wrote, I had heard that the Queen had a form of myeloma, bone marrow cancer which would explain her tiredness and weight loss and those mobility issues we were often told about during the last year or so of her life. The most common symptom of myeloma is bone pain, especially in the pelvis and lower back, and multiple myeloma is a disease that often affects the elderly. Currently, there is no known cure, but treatment including medicines to help regulate the immune system and drugs that help prevent the weakening of the bones can reduce the severity of its symptoms and extend the patient's survival by months or two to three years. He also claimed that Queen Elizabeth gave Meghan Markle her blessing to continue acting if she wished to do so. Queen Elizabeth told Meghan she could carry on being an actress at their first meeting and was concerned for her happiness, the book claims. Meghan first met the monarch back in the early days of her romance with Prince Harry, when she was still a star in the hit legal TV drama Suits. However, when she and Harry eventually became engaged, Meghan gave up her acting career and took up royal duties before she and Harry quit the firm less than two years later. Love Your Weekend with Alan Titchmar shares Sunday from 9.30am on ITV1.